Hey everyone, I'm back. We're back at it. In case you guys are wondering where I've been, I suggest you go check out my NAR video, which is the update about where I've been on my little hiatus. And it will tell you a little bit about what this video you're watching is. This is part of one of my three new segments. It is Stoner Girl Otaku The Re-Up. It's basically an unboxing um, series, a haul series. Basically me telling you about anything otaku related I buy. And this one is about my Christmas gifts. So, here we are. First episode of Stoner Girl Otaku The Re-Up. Let's get into it. Oh my god, my phone. Okay, so. First thing we're going to start with in the little Christmas bag. Ooh is I haven't really talked about it as much on my channel haven't got into it um I read manga I love manga it's one of my favorite things be looking out for a video on my manga collection I've been toying with the idea but I've decided I'm probably gonna do it especially since I started this new series so well this new segment series whatever you want to call it so let's get into the manga that I got for Christmas um I guess we'll start with the volume ones. First volume I got for Christmas was Kakeguri. I love this series. I have not read the manga, but I collect. Most of the manga I have is shows that I've watched, except for One Piece. I've never watched One Piece, but I've read the first three volumes of One Piece. It's long as hell. So I'm just gonna get there, get to it when I have time. So first one is Kageguri. I watched this last year. This was my first branch off into a different kind of anime. I usually watch a lot of action and adventure shonen and this is like I believe it's like psychological and it's psychological, it's a game. I'm not quite sure. But it was my first anime that I branched off into a different genre so I really really enjoyed it and that's why I got the manga that's why I asked for it for Christmas second one I got was Fire Force I really enjoyed Fire Force if you guys watch or if you guys are subscribed to my channel or you guys have watched any of my videos you know that I watch Fire Force and I don't read the manga and I'm going to start because the season ended and I want to be prepared when season two comes out hopefully because I haven't heard anything about it coming out so volume one of fire force second well third is first volume of dr. stone um yes I read dr. stone I've been reading dr. stone since last year I started reading dr. stone um January literally a year ago so yeah I'm already caught up, so this volume I this volume I've already read. So, yeah. <clears throat> My Hero Academia Volume Three. This is another one of the mangas I am caught up on. I've been reading. I can't even remember how long I've been reading My Hero. I want to say I started reading it last year. Um, no, it was before last year. I've been reading My Hero Academia for a minute. And along with reading My Hero Academia, I got My Hero Vigilantes Volume 3. Not many people read um, My Hero Vigilantes, but I've been reading it since it came out. And I've actually really enjoyed it. And I've been trying to get a lot of my friends to read it, and they haven't. And they suck. Point blank period. So, Volume 3 of My Hero Vigilantes, My Hero Academia Vigilantes read it it also can be found as my hero academia illegals as well last manga volume i got for christmas was oh, oh it's a sticker was demon slayer volume three we all know i love me some kimetsu no yaiba caught up the season was amazing i really like where they left off i'm even more excited for the movie so yeah of course you know i had to get that so my manga i love my manga like i said i'll probably do a video on my collection of manga when the time comes we'll see the next thing i got for christmas i'm very excited about is this tokyo ghoul illustrations book 
Tokyo Ghoul is my favorite manga. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but it is. Tokyo Ghoul is literally my favorite, and so I love this book. I had to get it. It's just a book of illustrations. I'll probably do a little panel so you can see some of the pictures, but it's by um, Ishida, the author of Tokyo Ghoul. So, yeah, I had to get this. Love it. Ah. All right, so... Of course, we'll, we'll still stick in the books, but I don't know um, if I've mentioned this before, but I draw, well, I draw paint, and I'm really, like, of course, if I'm into manga and anime, I'm into drawing it, so I actually like to get drawing books. I have one of Christopher Hart's other books. I think I have two of them, actually. I think I have two. But, um, it's a drawing anime book. Again, another book I'll probably show off on the side of what it looks like in there. And all that good stuff. So, I got a drawing book. Really appreciate it. My mom actually got this for me. And I love her to death for it because she supports me. So, anime drawing book. I guess we can get into the clothes. I got I bought these for myself um I got some shirts well this is actually one of the shirts I got for Christmas for myself it's Batman but um it got Batman on it Batman is my favorite superhero so another shirt I got was Cell from Dragon Ball Z fucking love shell Cell and I think this shirt is dope like I haven't found anything to wear with it yet, but this shirt is dope. Hopefully, I have some pictures or some video or something of me in it so you guys can see it. I doubt it, though. So, yeah. Enjoy the shirt. I'll I'll post videos of the shirt. And look out for me wearing the shirts in the videos. There we go. Like I did with this one. Second shirt is, of course, Goku. This shirt is just dope. I just had to get it. And they were on sale at GameStop for buy one get one free so and last shirt i got the goat naruto cute little naruto shirt love me some naruto and i like the colors and i like the graffiti and everything you know it's kind of like i started re-watching naruto that's what i spent a lot of my december doing i'm not gonna lie and this graffiti reminds me of like a couple of the openings that they had okay so the next thing I got for Christmas, I'm like super, super, super excited about. I've been wanting one of these since they came out. And I'm like ecstatic because I'm getting back to my roots. I told you I'm getting back to my roots. For Christmas, I got a Nintendo Switch Lite. So yeah, definitely look out for a video on my Switch Lite. And a couple of these games. Bet y'all didn't know I played games and stuff, but I do. So I got a yellow one, and I named it. Um, I named it Minato after the yellow flash in Naruto. So yeah, this is the case I got. I got a case, and I put some stickers on it because it's just a yellow and blue case, and it was so plain to me. I needed some more stuff, so I put some stickers on it. So the stickers technically count as Christmas gifts too. I bought them for myself. So let's get into my Switch really fast. This is a Switch Lite. It is different from a Switch because it doesn't have anything that comes off. No Joy-Cons that come off. It's just simply a handheld. It's very reminiscent of a Game Boy Advance. You know, just handheld gameplay. That's what I like to do. I like to play handhelds versus playing like actual video games. I like to play alone. So that's mainly the reason why I got the Switch Lite. Also because it came in colors, like cute colors, and I got the yellow one because I've been trying to like get my vibe together. I also got this case. With this case, it came with this cleaning thing, a screen protector, which is already on here, and one of those little stick things to put it on there. And I paid like, I think I got this from GameStop for $11.49. 
So yeah, it's my switch light. Look out for a switch light video to tell you guys like the pros and cons of it. Because I've really been enjoying it. I've seen mixed reviews on it. So look out for my review on the switch light. On top of getting my switch light for Christmas, of course I had to get games. So the first game I got was Mario Kart. I enjoy Mario Kart a lot. Of course, it wouldn't be me, Stoner Girl Taku, without Dragon Ball Fighters. So I got that. And then I got Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. I got two... No. I got Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 digitally. I downloaded it. So that'll be, like I said, I'll probably try to do a Switch Lite review video to talk, go into more detail about like the Switch Lite and everything like in my critiques or everything. So I got these three games. Well, I got four games, but I got these three actual physical copy games. I've really been enjoying it. So far, Mario Kart has been my favorite. I haven't played Mario and Sonic at the Olympics yet, though, so just wait on it. And I haven't gotten too far into Dragon Ball Fighters yet or Xenoverse. But as, like I said, as of right now, this was the first game I got. This is the one I played the most, so Mario Kart is my favorite game as of right now. So now, last part of uh, Sonic Girl Otaku, the re-up the Christmas edition the last two things I got are Funko Pops and we all know I love me some Funko Pops so the first Funko Pop I got is Sasuke from Shippuden I got this from my sister my sister literally gives me the best Funko Pop stage I love you so much because like this meant so much to me especially during my Naruto rewatch because I remembered how cold Sasuke was like love Sasuke so of course I love my Sasuke Funko Pop and the last thing I got my last item on this episode of Stone Girl Talk to the Rhea Christmas edition is Prince right it's Prince I love Prince I who doesn't love Prince and my mom got this for me for Christmas, which made me feel even better because she knows how much I love Prince. Like, what? So, yeah, this is all my Christmas stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys liked my video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the stuff I got. I can't really tell you where I got um some of the stuff from because, like I said, it was Christmas gift. But I got the shirts from GameStop. I got the um tokyo ghoul illustrations book from books a million ah as did i get okay let me leave that though all right so do this again i got my tokyo ghoul illustrations book from books a million as well as um all of my volume threes because uh books a million had a sale where it's buy two get one free and i had to take advantage of that because that's basically three mangas for twenty dollars doesn't want that forgot one more thing i else i got for christmas also will be in my switch light review video when i do one is online membership like i said when i do my video i will go into the pros and cons and just no regular information about my switch light okay so that being said that is the end of the video Look out for my next video, which will be a Funko Pop edition of Stone Girl Otaku the Re-Up. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of my first segment. Oh my god, don't forget to go check out my update video, the NAR video, the first one of 2020, which was the update about what I've been doing and went into depth about the two other segments I have. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys subscribe and I hope you guys like like literally like like it so bye you guys and see you next time i'll really see you in the next video because i'm shooting one more so yeah bye you guys